I would have seen him as a Minister of Education. I saw him as Prime Minister. And my most me recent memory, of course, would have been his um, decision to serve as Barbados' first ambassador to China. And for me, that was interesting because I was Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. And to have in my diplomatic corps a former Prime Minister was intimidating in terms of the announcement, but of course, in true style, Sir Lloyd was ever um, humble. I will remember Sir Lloyd, and I will speak as a constituent of St. Michael's South, where I lived in Brighton Road for all the years, while well, he was the Member of Parliament. And his regular visits, you know, I always remember his humility, his warmth, his friendliness, his concern for the constituents and also for the constituency. You know, I, I remember that clearly. And I also happened to work with him very closely during a time of crisis that we all know about, which should remain in the, in the archives, really. But I worked with him during that time, where I gathered a lot of other pastors together, and we had some very, very deep meetings. A wonderful man. Um, in recent times, I visited him uh, a few times. Um, certainly, he's more revered now in his um, retirement uh, than he was when he was actually in office. But nevertheless, uh, most people uh, have come to a common consensus that Sir Lloyd uh, was really the turning point in the early 90s um, that actually put Barbados back on its footing with the measures that he took.